The nightmarish, gritty world of Spawn meeting the high energy, often lighthearted realm of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles sounds like an improbable blend. Yet, that's precisely where the magic lies. One thing that we know for sure is that Batman vs TMNT proved that wildly different tones create an incredibly engaging story. Spawn's darkness, anti-hero nature, and supernatural elements against the turtles, brotherhood, humor, and mutant weirdness sets the stage for a clash of epic proportions with room for surprising depth. Yes, seeing these characters interact is amazing fan service, but that's only the entry point. A well-crafted story taps into both worlds, providing something that goes beyond the novelty of the concept, because you know we hungry for this. Come on now, don't be stingy. Both TMNT and Spawn grapple with concepts of identity, family, and the struggle against monstrous forces, sometimes literal and sometimes within. A crossover isn't just about the fight, it's about how these two forces of justice view the world and what they learn from a very unexpected encounter. Here are three narrative entry points, each carrying a unique flavor and potential to show how this crossover could unfold. Number 1. The Devil in the Sewers A demon of unusual power escapes Mount Boja's realm, drawn to something in the shadows of New York. The turtles, sensing a major supernatural threat, find themselves face to face with a foe unlike any other they've seen before, forcing them to question their own methods and morality. Spawn arrives relentless in his pursuit only to find himself at odds not just with the demon, but the strangely familiar mutants protecting their city. Number 2. The Brotherhood of Shadow An unholy alliance is forming. The Foot Clan, their power is amplified, seeks to breach the gates of hell itself. Spawn senses the imbalance, but to reach the Foot's mystic source, he'll need to navigate a mutant-filled city. The Turtles, worried of the Shadow Newcomer, are forced into a tenuous alliance. And you know there's going to be some strain, but they gotta do this. Their uneasy team-up leads them into the darkest corners of both of their worlds. Now before I go into the third plot point, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool, limited print, rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. With all that being said, hey, let's get back into the content. Number 3. Hunters and the Hunted Word is, word of a demon cloak vigilante dispensing brutal justice reaches the turtles who are wary of a new player encroaching on their territory. Meanwhile, Spawn, targeted by the interdimensional hunter Heaven's Angels, finds himself cornered in a twist of fate the hunters mistake the turtles as his demonic allies. The ensuing battle could see Spawn and the turtles united against a common foe, revealing more about their own murky similarities. The beauty of this is that they leave plenty of room for discussion, building off of core traits from both franchises. Would Spawn view the turtles as monsters or something familiar in their fight? How would the turtles react to Spawn's brutal methods? Would it cause internal conflict? Also, I could see something in common with Spawn and Raphael, just a little bit because they both got anger issues issues in some level. Could Al Simmons and the Turtles ever fully trust each other or would suspicion remain? Would the Turtles try to redeem Spawn seeing good beneath his darkness? Would Spawn's demonic powers corrupt the foot? Could long lost secrets be revealed connecting the worlds of mutants and hell spawn? This is where the fan debate and anticipation would erupt. This crossover offers action, introspection, and a chance to break the typical narratives for both Spawn and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's unexpected and that's exactly why we need to see something like this happen. Let me know which plot point you found most compelling. Do you have any ideas how to add to this crossover? Comment below let me know. And if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Like this video and subscribe to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Also, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.